Howdy y'all from MC Family Homestead. After weeks and weeks of fighting with these stumps, <clears throat> I finally got them all down where they'll be cleared. Uh, cabin cleared and whatever. But uh, yeah, tomorrow I ordered the rock today. And tomorrow they'll be coming out in the morning sometime and have them pour the rock through here for this drive area and out that way. And then hopefully we can get enough over there for our little drive going up to the cabin. But uh, yeah, it's been a, a battle with these stumps. They don't like to burn out too well, even though I drilled holes in them and put diesel on them and they're pretty resilient. But got them all down and all the little stumps are gone. Well, that's good. See you tomorrow. And see if the guy can at least pour some from here out through that way and then down the drive. So, I don't know how far 15 tons will go, but we'll see. Got more stacked on the wood over there. I got a lot more cutting up to do. This is going to be the uh, front yard area. Got it kind of cleaned up. There, I got some down trees right there, kind of rotted out. I'm gonna cut up and just put on the bar. They're not worth uh, saving. Kind of powdery. And I got we got two of the uh, yuccas planted. There are a lot of these little uh, evergreens everywhere. So I'm trying to save them. Uh, yeah, we dug uh, planted the yucca there, one over there, but. We dug down a good foot, foot or two, and it's dry. It's so dry, we haven't had no rain out here. Everything, like dying back, the leaves are already falling off the trees, all wilting down, almost like fall. Yet it's not, but, well, I'll make a little video later when the truck gets here with the rock, show that. I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all have a good day. Howdy, howdy, y'all. I want. I go up about every two weeks or so to a local fire department, and they give give us uh, about 180 gallons of water for nothing. But uh, I was wanting to let uh, there's another channel, a Modern Self Reliance. He was had a, a video up for about one of his totes gave way and busted the crater apart that he had put it in but it was in wood but like i told him I, I left a message on his saying no they the way it is here these crates are designed to hold everything in place and not let it bulge out it won't bulge out that's uh, what they're made for but i just thought I'd put that out there yeah, don't ever take these out of the crate because they'll you fill them with water, it'll just be like a big old bubble and collapse and might even pop. You just gotta be careful of that. But you leave them in the crates, they're still, the bottom down here is made to where you can stack them on top of each other. So it'll give you double, double the amount of pressure and water if you're running uh, gravity feed. So that's what it'll do, give you more pressure on your gravity when it comes out. So, yeah, always leave, leave the totes in the cage. It'll be a lot better. Okie doke, I'll talk to y'all later. Uh, well, hi, how y'all doing? I'm back. I had to give them to go some of the minerals they need. Especially if, if uh, Dot is pregnant. So she's going to need the extra minerals. It's about time to put them up for the night. The chickens are already in the house and gonna get their feed so coax them into the house they like it's like goat feed is like crack to them i guess must be the molasses in it but yeah they like this stuff I'm going nuts over it ah. Little man thinks he's tough. Kind of butt heads with them all. 
Now that duck, her belly kind of big, but huh? it's been staying sticking out there. The left side really sticking out too. Just got to figure out if she's pregnant and we we'll have to spend a little time with her. Yo, get back. Get back. Come on. Y'all get in there. Come on. Touch. Hello. Hello, Blue. Hey, Patches. Little man. Ain't know what time it is. Time to eat. Huh? Y'all too impatient. Yep, there's the chickens. They eat, and the chickens come over and eat with them. Some of them stand on the back sometimes to peck on them. I think it's funny. <laughs> oh yeah, one got three chickens left. Soon this house will be going to be left here, and I'm going to take it, build another one up the hill, closer to where our cabin is going to be, so we can keep a better eye on them. They can get out and roam around. Won't have to, have to be uh, watched all the time. See how that goes. Y'all have a good night. Eat up, eat up. Hmm. Well, yeah, it's getting cooler in the nights now. Getting down to the 60s. It's not too bad, but still this week it's going to be, I don't know, 90, something like that. But it seems like the, the heat of the sun isn't as bad as it used to be. But we're still calling for no rain for the next 10 days, and we ain't had no rain for a month and a half now. If you see those trees, all the leaves are turning brown and falling off, lack of rain. We need rain. Alright, I'll show, uh, give you an update on, a, we got some rabbits and stuff now, baby rabbits and we brought a rabbit with us here, two of them, but one of them didn't make it. He couldn't handle the heat and we didn't have no way to get no uh, cold water or freezing uh, freezing water jugs to him because we don't have a freezer. But we try to keep them cool the best we can. They like sitting in the, their little water pails. <laughs> but I'll more on that later. I'll talk to y'all later. Night.